our chat. All right, so guys, I'm learning this more and more as life goes on, and I'm thankful for these little lessons. And so I decided to share it with you. So every time I find myself either bothered by something or annoyed yes that happens Lauren gets annoyed even though you don't see it on camera a lot um yes I get annoyed by some things um and bothered and frustrated um and I'm not talking about just general life stuff I'm talking about specific situations um that might be like pet peeve or might be um, something somebody said or did um, might be just not being able to figure something out or um, not being able to do what I plan to do as a result of being hindered by something or someone um, certain situations like that that's what I mean when I say specific, but I find myself, um, whenever I'm affected by these things, I get annoyed and I get frustrated um, by the outcome. And so, um, as a result of being frustrated, I find myself kind of like in my head a lot. So, I'll think a lot, I'll um, come up with reasons why. Um, it didn't really go the way I thought it should go or why I was so annoyed or offended or frustrated by whatever happened um, and so a lot of times when I when I kind of resort to finding solutions to my feelings or finding how to cope with them I'll get a lot of feedback to check myself and like today I take for example today I was a little bit frustrated um, one being um, I wasn't satisfied with um, something that happened this morning but then secondly on top of that I had to um, run back home because I'm actually on my way to work now but I had to run back home because I left my my badge work but all of that playing together just kind of didn't work in my favor today and so I was frustrated I was not upset but I didn't like having to deal with those things and so in like reading and in like you know getting good sound spiritual advice I'm always advised to check myself and so today I got a little frustrated with that because I didn't like the fact that although I thought that well the whole badge incident me leaving my badge home was my fault obviously but me being frustrated about something else that happened this morning I didn't think that it was totally my fault and I thought that I didn't have control over the whole situation. And so when I was advised to check myself, I was a little bit turned off by that. <laughs> I was a little bit turned off by that advice. Um, now, side note, that advice is the best advice that you could ever take. Because obviously everything always resorts back to yourself no matter what the problem is, no matter how out of control it might be for you. Um, what you can control is either what you do in the situation or how you respond to it. Um, and so in getting that advice, I was frustrated because I felt like I could check myself, but what about, you know, what about the other part of the situation? I can't control that part. And so I don't know if that part will ever get fixed or I don't know if, um, I'm speaking real general right now because um, it's pretty fresh and so I don't I didn't want to I don't want to share so much but um, 
nothing, nothing. I'm not upset or anything. But I was reminded that when I <laughs> when I lose control over situations, um, sorry, I was waving at somebody. <laughs> when I lose control over situations, it doesn't matter how I feel about the other end of the situation or the other end of the circumstance that I'm going through. It matters how I respond about my end of the situation. And so I was pretty, I was pretty kind of like, oh my goodness, here we go again. Check yourself, check yourself. Yeah, 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 we know. But then I thought about it and I was like, check yourself Lauren how how are you responding to the situation how are you um making the most of this so that first God is glorified second so that uh two you're not becoming something that you're not um and by that I mean I'm not becoming bitter or I'm not allowing the situation to change my heart or to affect me negatively um, am I allowing myself to become something that I'm not, that God didn't design me to be in the first place? And third, um, how is my response making me a light to others? And so, or making me a light to, you know, how is my reaction making me, um, show Jesus to others or even if it's just me by myself how's my response making me you know in everything that I do if you're a believer then everything that you do is going to result in checking yourself checking your motives checking um, your response checking how you react to things how you um, deal with things as a believer because it always reflects Whatever you do, whatever, however you respond, is always a reflection of what's in your heart. Um, and the Bible teaches us that, us that whatever um, flows out of your heart is what your mouth speaks. And so, yeah, although that, that little piece of advice is a little bit hard to chew um, at the time, God knows what you need when you need it. Um, and so I'm grateful just for even those little moments to check myself. Um, and that's something I want to encourage you to do, to check yourself too. So if you ever find yourself in a situation where you're frustrated or it's not going your way, it's out of your control, or um, you're unsure about what to do or you, or you find yourself in doubt, check yourself. Um, check your faith. Check your motives. Check your heart. Check your yourself every part of you and make sure that you're responding in grace and love and truth and make sure that you're um focusing on who jesus can be for you in that moment in the moment that you're in breathe take a breath pray and then um ask god for wisdom to move forward so that's what i'm doing today <laughs> as i get ready to go into work i just want to share a little tidbit of wisdom with you um it's vlogmas i know my vlogs probably don't feel like christmas but we're gonna get there because christmas is coming and i gotta do some shopping this weekend so you guys are gonna come with me but i just wanted to share that little bit of wisdom check yourself <laughs> all right y'all i'm um, gearing to head out expectations are killers and let me tell you why because Whenever you're going into a situation, you kind of preconceive what you'll expect um, before you even encounter it. And that's a natural instinct. However, what happens though is when we are disappointed, when our expectations meet, are not met, when our expectations are not met, then it affects the way that we interact and the way that we accomplish what we set forth to do. And so, because they're so unstable, um, we can't really rely on them. We can't really rely on folks to meet them. Um, and the reason is because we're human. Um, and in our fallen state, we cannot be perfect. <laughs> we cannot, um, and by perfect, I don't mean, um, you know, as Christ sees us, because I believe that Christ sees us as 
already perfect. Um, made perfect. Well, God sees us. It's already made perfect in Christ. Um, but in our in this fallen world, um, we're going to do things that aren't necessarily glorifying to God or don't always meet our fellow man's expectations. Um, and it's because we are incapable of doing so on our own. And so, um, yeah, expectations can be a killer. And although expectations are killers, and although we get so consumed with our thoughts and with our circumstances and with our situations, you can rest assured in the truth that Jesus still loves you. And so there's a song that I sing um, that reminds me, and it's a simple song I learned as a kid. You probably have heard it before. It's called Jesus Loves Me. And, um, it's a great, beautiful, simple reminder to come back to the first truth that you learned in, as an infant, as a baby. Um, and when I say baby, I mean baby in Christ. And so I'm encouraged, I'm deeply encouraged to remain encouraged by the gospel even in situations where i find myself losing sight of my first hope of my first love um even when i get consumed by my circumstances and i get frustrated and i set these expectations and they go unmet and i respond in a way that is not reflective of the gospel of christ i am reminded that i don't have to be condemned in those moments that i can get back up and i can remember the promises of god that he made to me in his word um, and the simple promise of the fact that he'll never leave me nor forsake me and that he loved me enough to send his son to die for me. That truth by itself just encourages me and it uplifts me and it makes me remember who I am in Christ. And so that compels me to keep going. And so that truth can compel you to keep going too. I pray that you'll always be focused on that truth that you'll never uh, lose sight of the hope that you have in Christ no matter what situation you go through no matter what you face no matter what you feel no matter um, what you experience in life that truth will always remain active and living and uh, a hope that is sure that will always remain uh, remain an option in your life that will always remain good for anyone who believes it can hold them for anyone who believes that it can save them and for anyone who believes that it can be their strength jesus loves me this i know for the bible tells me so little ones to him belong they are weak but he is strong yes jesus loves me yes jesus loves me yes jesus loves me for the bible tells me so